I became interested in science uh, very, very early on in high school, and it's all because of a high school biology teacher. He made us do field projects, and I just uh, love being outdoors, love getting out and looking at uh, uh, organisms, plants and animals. By the end of that year, uh, sophomore year, I knew I wanted to be a zoologist and, and particularly an ornithologist. I'm what is called a systematist, and systematists are interested in understanding what diversity is out there, what are their relationships, where are they distributed. My research focuses on the distribution, biogeography, and uh, evolutionary history of birds. I was interested in birds of paradise in New Guinea uh, for, for several reasons. One, there's a large diversity of them, and they are very, very cool birds, very spectacular. So I was interested in understanding what are their relationships and how did this large group of organisms evolve there on this small, rather small island? I was a curator on the Hall of Biodiversity. And on two or three expeditions that we, we took uh, to Central African Republic, we would camp out and we had mist nets up in the forest. Central African Republic, this part, has the largest density of forest elephants in the world. And so at night when we would go out and, and check our nest before going to bed, we would often hear this large, large scream in the forest where an elephant had run into one of our mist nets for birds. These elephants uh, don't like people particularly, so all of us have been charged by elephants multiple times in, in the forest. Another uh, project that we've been working on very uh, uh, intently over the last couple of years is how do we account for the large species diversity in Amazonia? So we've been working on different groups of birds trying to understand just how old are these species down there. And we're sort of finding that they're uh, probably far younger than what a lot of people have imagined. We are teaming with uh, uh, climate modelers, uh, teaming with geologists, trying to build a whole integrated picture of the environmental history of Amazonia. And this is all crucially important because by trying to understand the past, especially the recent past, by recent I mean just a couple of million years, we can make better predictions about what's going to happen in the future when, say, for instance, climate warms. Some of the predictions are very serious indeed.